Should you upgrade to Camtasia 2023? Hey everyone, it's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so I get the question. Whenever Camtasia releases a new version, they always ask me, should I upgrade to whatever new version that comes out? And at the time of filming this video, it's Camtasia 2023. So here's my advice and thought process. Personally, I have not upgraded to Camtasia 2023 even though I have access to it for free. I have the yearly maintenance package that I pay for. And if you pay for the maintenance package, you actually get upgrades for free. And even though I have access to the latest Camtasia 2023, I'm currently not upgrading. Here's why. One, usually when any type of software gets released, there are usually bugs and kinks that need to get worked out. I personally have experienced this with Camtasia in previous versions, Camtasia 2022, 2021, and I have learned over the years not to upgrade immediately to the first versions. I usually wait until a bunch of people have used it and Camtasia has gotten feedback and fixed all those bugs. And when it was released, I did go around to other Camtasia groups to see what was all the talk about. And one of the first things that I saw people saying was, there's a lot of bugs, it's crashing, there are some fixes that need to be done. And like I said, any software or website, they all go through this. So I usually wait until a bunch of versions have gone through, updates, and then I will upgrade. Now, should you upgrade if you have Camtasia 2022, 2021, when should you upgrade? Here's my thought process. So I'm here on the Camtasia website right now for the 2023 updates of what you get. And honestly, in going through the Camtasia 2023, I have to say that this is the version that I'm least excited about. They do have this remove the background feature where you don't need a green screen. I personally have not tried this out yet. If you do have a green screen, then you can do this on 2022, 2021. And I personally don't use much green screen to begin with, so this is not a feature that I'm excited about. And I noticed that in this version of Camtasia 2023, that they were doing a bunch of cursor upgrades. So right here you can see that you can change your cursor to these cool designs. Like there's this neon thing, there's those neon arrows and stuff like that. While it is visually cool, to me it's not that appealing of a feature. Now to you it might, and that's totally fine, but these are just you know, the things that I'm thinking as I'm going through. Like, changing my cursor to a neon thing isn't necessarily gonna get me more views, subscribers, coaching clients. I use the 80-20 rule a lot, and I'm like, well, is this, is this feature going to make me more sales, gonna get me more views, or get me more subscribers? Likely not. It's, it is a cool visual effect. And as we scroll down here, another feature that they are introducing is better integration with Snagit and Audiate. I actually don't use any other softwares besides the Camtasia, so that doesn't really apply to me. They do also have these other things here, canvas rulers, where you can be more precise with your alignments. I personally have not had an issue with that. They have an improved Camtasia home where you can get access to Camtasia assets, tutorials. I don't really use much of that. Corner pinning where you can add a cool 3D effect to any image, video clip, or screen. I haven't seen that yet. One that's coming soon is a variable playback speed. This is one of their most requested features. Adjust the speed of longer clips to make it easier to find what you're looking for. That will probably be useful. So when you're going through stuff, apparently it's gonna make it easier to find. So let's see how that one goes when I do end up upgrading. And there's social media style filters, add tone and feeling to video clips and images. I don't think that one applies to me. A vignette effect, bring a cozy feel to your video. I likely won't be using a vignette effect. And Valentine's transitions. 
probably won't be using that. So in all honesty, the current features that are being offered in Camtasia 2023 aren't, you know, really exciting me to upgrade to the 2023 version. I will eventually upgrade to that version, but as of now, I'm using 2021 and 2022. So personally, if you're on any of those 2021 or 2022 and you have the same feeling towards the new features, then I wouldn't upgrade. But if you really wanted that to try out that remove the background feature, because I know, I know a lot of people do use this kind of thing in their videos, then you might want to upgrade. If you're in 2019 or older, I would say upgrade. But if you're within the last two years, I would say if you really want one of these features, upgrade. If you have the maintenance package, you can upgrade because you will have free access to it. But in terms of like purchasing this, like as an upgrade, like let's say you didn't get the maintenance package and you're on 2022, I think you would have to pay, I'm here in Canada, so it says to upgrade, it's an extra $222. Personally, I don't think it would be worth it if you have the 2022 or 2021 version without the yearly maintenance. So these are my honest thoughts and opinions. I still love Camtasia. I use it literally every day for our YouTube videos, for creating courses, for our clients. I do video editing work for our high-end clients. So I'm constantly editing videos with Camtasia. Don't get me wrong, I totally love the software. But for the latest version, I'm not as excited about it because to me, 2022 and 2021 are still great and amazing to me. So that's my advice on if you should upgrade to 2023. Let me know down in the comments section below what you decide to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.